Good morning, day two, Monday, August 28th, 2023. I just uh, left base camp. Sarah's gonna hang out with the tent at Young Lake 3. I'm gonna go try and take a look at um, Mount Conness and see if uh, what the snow's like and maybe do a summit. So just kind of starting out. Um, it's around eight-ish or so. This morning at around six, when I was making my first cup of coffee, um, two deer went running by along the lake shore, which they were running pretty fast, um, looking to see if something was chasing them, but maybe they were just getting their morning exercise, but it all happened too quick for me to do any video, but that was something, something different. So, there may be an actual climber's trail that maybe I'll find. Um, if not, I'm just gonna kinda make a line for Mount Conus and we'll see how it goes. So we will check in later. All right, so we're just getting started and I think I found the Karen probably for this climber's trail. So, Let's see if this works out or not. Can't always trust a Karen, but um, I was looking for a trail around here. So I'm close. <laughs> okay, we've definitely found the climber's trail. Been on four or five sets of Karens now going the direction we want to go, so very cool. All right, day one update. We pretty much have been heading uh, northeast on a pretty well-defined climber's trail. We came from back that away. We're back in the shade now. We had the sun for a while. This is a very cool area. Open meadow, running water. Depending on how the bugs are, this could be a, a cool place to camp. A little off the beaten path. So. We're going to keep moving. looks like uh, we lost a bunch of, well, not a bunch, we lost some elevation getting down to this water. And now it looks like we're going to start climbing again. So here we go. Up that way into the forest. All right, a little update. Been on this climber's trail, about 10,400 feet. This is an unnamed 11,000 footer. And over here with the sunrise, that's White Mountain. And that's where we came from. Pretty much around there. Pretty amazing. I feel like this trail is defined enough where maybe at some point back in the day, it was an actual hiking trail to Mount Conness and just, uh, isn't maintained or was abandoned but so far for the most part a very good trail pretty easy to follow so if you ever make it out to young lakes i highly recommend taking the side trip hopefully after uh, we get up over this maybe we'll start getting some views of uh Connus. we'll see all right it's about nine o'clock um, this is probably the last shady spot I'm gonna have. So I wanna take advantage and put some sun stuff on. Um, I thought maybe we see Mount Conus here. I just checked Peak Finder. 
I thought maybe that would be Canis, but it's not getting identified yet, so we'll see. Um, pretty amazing up here. And I'm gonna have a little snack and keep on climbing. All right, we've been climbing for a while. It's this loose scree. Um, there's intermittent Karens. You kind of choose your own adventure. This is gonna be, uh, going up it's like three steps up, a half step back, but going down is when you really gotta be careful because there's not a whole lot of uh, footing. So we'll worry about that on the way down, but Pretty amazing views up here. And we still gotta get up and over this hump. We're starting to see some snow up here. So we'll see what that's like, but climbing, climbing, climbing. All right, day one update. We're taking a little break. We're at about 11,600 feet. We gotta get up and over this uh, snow field. So I'll crack out the micro spikes and uh, hopefully make my way up and over it. And we'll see where we're at from there. Whew, beautiful day up here. Um, and yeah, there's running water right near here, which is always a plus. So don't know if that's just with the snow melt or if it's always running, but it's running now. Nice. Good morning. It's about 1015 and I just thought I would check in. I am walking around the lake. So our tent is over there. Um, and so I tr first walked to that end of like where the snow is and there was no way to get around. Even in my Crocs, it would be really deep. So I'm just on the other side, cruising around, stretching my legs. There's one other person camped at the lake. I think it's the same fisherman we saw last night and then I saw again this morning. So the bugs are not terrible, but they're definitely like annoying when I was trying to read outside the tent. So. Hopefully our tent will be in the shade again soon and uh, I can just relax in there and read and knit, but we'll check in later. All right, we're making our way up the first part of this snowfield. And we'll see what the second one looks like. So I'm just walking around the lake. I came from the upper Ray Lake over there. And I thought I'd just come and overlook to see the view from the rocks that I'm perched on. And you can see middle and the lower lake. And then this beautiful view of the Sierras. And those trees are in the way, but we're gonna walk right between those mountains and this mountain tomorrow. Um, and Brian's out there somewhere. All right, we're up over the snow field. We're gonna head up that way, but just found um, some old pieces of wood with old rusty nails in them. So what did this used to be? Was it a trail sign? I don't know, pretty cool. We're gonna keep on heading up. 
gorgeous day up here. We've got snow on either side of us. <laughs> so we'll see if there's any snow once we get up top here. There she blows, Mount Conus. Can we make it there? We'll see what the snow's like. Time will tell. All right, we're almost up on the East Ridge and there's a person on the summit, at least one person on the right of the summit there. All right, making our way up to the East Ridge and there's um, a few of these rock walls for climbers, I'm guessing. Some are nicer than others. Pretty cool. All right, there's the summit. This is the other side. Pretty amazing. Those lakes right there are Conus lakes. There's a few of them. More lakes in the background. And there's also a Conus glacier. So, not sure if one of these uh, snow fields is what's left of it or if it's over here somewhere maybe. Pretty amazing views. Like the summit just goes up this ridge here and then a little bit of scrambling to the top so it's just after 11 a.m and i'm back at the tent um, and I, there's the other person camping here at the lake and we were chatting for a little bit as I walked back to the tent and he saw a bear last night near his tent. He thinks it might've been attractive because he was fishing and he did catch a small fish. So he was, and cooked it up. So he was thinking maybe it was attracted to like the fish smells, but that's interesting since the ranger that we saw said they had, no one had seen a bear up here recently. So definitely just a reminder to keep all of our food stored properly um, and to keep a clean camp if there's bears investigating. But the bear didn't try to like get in his bear bin or anything. It just kind of meandered through camp sniffing around. So that's good, just doing bear things. So we'll see if we see it tonight. All right, that's the high point where I took my first set of photos from. There's the group of... Uh, hikers. They must have come from the, um, I'm guessing the Alpine Lake route or Saddlebag Lake, I think it is, but here we go, approaching the summit block. Woo, baby. Okay, these are interesting. Old support foundations, concrete. Look at that, with a USGS marker on it. 1934. Wow, so there's two here. There's one more over there at least. Very interesting, huh? Man, with nice weather, this would be a heck of a space spot to camp for one night. That's bonkers. That would be amazing. All right, even have like rock wall stuff built up here. That's kind of nice. we go. All right, so we came up the ridge. There's a couple of little exposed sections, but good trail for the most part. And uh, look at this, rock steps up to the summit. Luxury. 
we're not quite to the summit yet, but these views are amazing. All right, we made it to the summit, Mount Conus. Awesome, amazing. Incredible day out here. Whew. All right, we're gonna take a little break. There's a summit register, so we're gonna fill that out. And then we're gonna head back down that ridge. All right, day two update. It's been an amazing uh, climb to the summit of Mount Conus, but it's time, sadly, to go. So one last look at all those amazing lakes down there. And the ridge we're gonna go back down. All right, I'll check in in a bit. So just for reference, I say that's one of the more spicier sections. Not because it's difficult, just there's some um, exposure as you work your way up that set of ledges. You're basically out on this ledge with a nice drop off. So fun stuff. All right, pretty cool. So we've had two or three more climbers hitting the summit from uh, another route. But this is the other uh, little bit of spicy section. If you're coming from the east, from the east ridge, um, you just got a little bit of a exposed drop off there. But again, probably a solid rock to make your way around it. And then you got this amazing view as you keep um, scooting over some rock in this little little exposed area. So really fun, really fun climb. Wonder which way they did, if they were actually climbing or not. Whew, day two update. All right, we're down all the, uh, I wouldn't call them sketchy, but just the uh, more challenging little exposed areas, the summit of Mount Conus. So now we go back the way we came. Awesome. We're gonna say goodbye to our views of all the amazing um, lakes over here, particularly Conus Lakes. Just that glacial blue in the foreground and then the bluer, darker bluer lakes in the background. So an amazing, amazing little off trail adventure, although there was a climber's trail for a good, a good chunk of it for sure. So, but um, I guess just not a trail that's on on the maps, let's leave it at that. I feel like at some point it was a trail. So, it'll be a little easier and quicker going down, except for that scree section we gotta work down. I'm gonna try not to fall too much on that. So, uh, yeah, an amazing day. I checked in with Sarah on the summit. Um, had cell service briefly on the summit, so just um, nothing to deal with there, which is nice. And we're gonna head back to base camp, um, have some beverages, have a little something to eat probably, and just enjoy the rest of the day by the lake. Can't wait. It's another one of those stone and cement foundations, not too far from the other two. But just here's a, here's a view of the face of Conus. <laughs> Not the East Ridge. That is steep, steep, steep. Pretty impressive. And then this little guy here with the little uh, mini cave in there, it looks like. So, down is this way for us. There's a snowfield we're gonna recross. 
There's no angle or slope on this one. Don't need spikes or anything. The other big one that I went up, I might have to put spikes on to go down that one just to have a little bit of traction. Although, could probably glissade it as well, but we probably won't get too ambitious with that. Um, so yeah, one last look at the amazing views up here. All right, this is the snow field coming down from the summit of uh, Mount Conus if you're coming down the East Ridge. Pretty tame angle, so just got to get across it and then keep making our way down to the next snow field down there. So I don't know if we can see it, but I was filling up my water bottle and out of the corner of my eye, I spotted something moving on the snow. It's right above those rocks. Hopefully I'll go up a little bit higher. See it, I think it's a deer, but I'm not sure. Let's see if I can get a better angle. Like just see it walking in front of the rock in the middle of the frame, kind of down towards the water. Sarah was going down to get some water and she's pretty sure she saw a thin deer walking across the snow maybe behind that boulder right now uh, so we're keeping an eye out for it also the fisherman I showed you from yesterday I don't know if Sarah did a video on it but Sarah went to talk to him this morning as she was doing a little traverse around the lake and um, he mentioned that around 9.30 last night, a bear came by his campsite. Um, you know, didn't just kind of passed on through. And the guy had some fish, so fish guts and all that. So, interesting. I'm gonna head over to that campsite now and just take a look and see, see any prints in the sand, if there's any sand nearby. Just curious, stretch the legs a little bit. Still haven't seen that deer pop out, but uh, keeping my eyes open. Sarah's making her way over towards the snow. You can see her kind of in the center of the frame, in front of a rock now. So, I'm sure if she sees something interesting, she'll take a video of it. The bugs are a bit annoying if you're not moving, so I'm gonna keep moving.